story to tell. U.S. media reported that the U.S. Army has completed testing of their latest tank in icy weather conditions. The test results show that the main battle tank M1A2-7V3, also known as M1A2C, is perfectly adapted to the extremely cold temperatures in the subarctic region of Alaska. However, can this tank really reach distant battlefields? This is still an unsolved problem due to the heavy weight of the M1A2 Safe V3 tank version. Reports say that the M1A2 Safe V3 is actually too heavy for trucks, rescue vehicles, and tank support vehicles. The increased weight of the M1A2 Safe V3 limited the tank's technical transport capabilities. The M1A1 is an improved version of the M1A Prams tank, first put into service with the U.S. Army in 1980. The first M1 tank was fitted with a 105mm L7 gun with a combat weight of about 60 tons. Later improved versions added thicker armor and replaced the 105mm gun with a 120mm smooth bore gun. These improvements also make the M1A Prime tank heavier and heavier. The M1A2 Safe V3 is the heaviest tank in the A-Prams family. It has a thick armor, the latest electronics, and a better auxiliary engine, but its weight is close to 74 tons. With additional armor, active protection system, and mice sweeping equipment, the weight of the M1A2 Safe V3 were increased to 92 tons, which is too heavy. The U.S. Army transported at least one M1A2 Safe V3 by rail to Alaska for 17-month IC testing that ended in early May this year. According to the U.S. Army, M1A2 Safe V3 has made a distance of more than 3,000 kilometers in harsh subarctic climate conditions. It fired hundreds of rounds at extremely low temperatures while testing the auxiliary engine and many other systems. According to the plan, M1A2 Safe V3 must be able to operate in the cold climate of winter in Eastern Europe. Heavy armored units of the US Army may be deployed here to help its allies to deal with the Russian Army. The US Army has about 6,000 M1 version tanks including 1,500 new M1A2. The U.S. Army has ordered about 300 M1A2 Safe V3s from General Dynamics at a cost of about $6 million per new tank. As a country with a large number of tanks, second only to Russia, which has about 13,000 T-72, T-80, T-90, and others. But Russian tanks are lighter than American tanks. A T-90 weighs only 48 tons, 
so moving on the battlefield becomes easier. Thus, the U.S. Army will have to depend on many logistics vehicles to transport armor units from U.S. territory to the European battlefield. With its excessive weight, the M1A2 Safe V3 will exceed the lot of bridges, roads, and some transport vehicles. In combat, the rescue vehicle will prone the damage M1A2 Safe V3 to the rear for maintenance. Engineer self propel ferries are used to help the M1A2 Safe V3 cross narrow rivers. But the problem is that the current logistics vehicles cannot handle the payload of the M1A2 Safe V3. Undoubtedly, the M1 tank family is already very heavy and will become heavier, which certainly affects its maneuverability in transport and combat. The problem of increasing weight does not stop. In fact, the next generation M1A2 v 4 tank is expected to be in the U.S. Army in 2025. This version continues to add many new technologies and may be even heavier than the Safe V3. My video about the American M1A2 Safe V3 main battle tank answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.